and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be looking at the uh, top uh, six add-ons uh, for uh, flat worlds in uh, Minecraft Bedrock. Now, uh, I want to start off this video with some honourable mentions. These are like add-ons that you could add, but I don't feel like they uh, uh, add a lot to the survival experience for flat worlds. And that's uh, morph gauntlet add-on. It you know works. It gives you it gives you a morph gauntlet when you log you know sign in, and you could like uh, transform into like pigs, cows, sheep, um, and like skeletons, zombies, uh, creepers, endermen, and witches. But it's not like fully featured. You could also get bats spawning and then get the ability to fly. Um, but it's not super impactful in how you would place flat a flat world in Minecraft Bedrock. There's World Utilities add-on which really doesn't change a ton because um, the most of the like things that you would use require like diamond tools and without any other add-ons, you're not able to do get there anymore because you needed the uh, you need you you used to be able to like get a grindstone to make for uh, your villager, but I don't think you can get a grindstone anymore because like you used to be able to do that with like diorite, granite, and the uh, andesite, but I don't think you can get them anymore because uh, you used to be able to get them from wandering tree. Anyway, uh, then there's um, so basically, just, and then this is just in, this isn't a particular add-on. This is just a general like. Category of just like add-ons that introduce decorative building blocks. Uh, I'm sure a lot of them will add a bunch of blocks you could use uh, to make your flat world look better, but they don't have a significant impact on the survival experience, so that's why I'm not going to be covering it. And also the magic spells add-on. Now it is possible to get the uh, mana might I think it's called that uh, you, which is easiest to get from drop from wisp drops, but they are. Uh, only spawn in uh, forest biomes, they don't spawn in plains, which is the only biome in the uh, flat world. So, um, the only other way to get them is like a rare drop from killing uh, mobs. So, it's possible, but a lot more difficult. This is a lot rarer to get it from just uh, uh, killing them, killing random mobs. So, let's start off with number six, which is. I think it's down here. Yeah, here it is. The airdrops add-on. Uh, now I'm not a super big fan of this add-on myself, but uh, and I've done an entire review of this. But basically, uh, you kill mobs and you can get these remotes. Oh no! Uh, uh, what are they called? Forgot what are they called. Uh, Summon airdrop containers and uh, radios. Rad. Rad. There we go, yeah, you can get these radios from killing mobs. Mobs, uh, you, uh, I'm uh, not exactly sure, like, how likely each one to get, but you get like, these randomly, you use them, and it'll spawn in these airdrop things, and you can get some uh, good stuff out of these. Um... So yeah, you punch it, you get some stuff, so I got a med kit from that one. Got a parachute from this one. And some boots of wind, vision goggles, and a fuel can from this one. So yeah, you can get some uh, uh, good stuff from these, but you can also, but there are also some like OP stuff like uh, Trident, well the Trident's not so, not the try is not so much OP, but it's like uh, never you can get like e efficiency like far uh, like ten I think it was like ten, efficiency ten axes anyway and like protection twenty five uh, uh, armor and stuff like that so it can be a bit OP but there are some cool stuff you can get some good stuff and it can be useful but uh, not my not particularly my thing but it t t but Wait, but it's on here because you can access the full add-on in a flat world because, you know, you can just kill some zombies and skeletons and creepers and endermen and stuff and you can get everything you need. 
Anyway, on to the next add-on. Next up is the naturalist add-on. And this is basically just here to just to just to mix up the kind of mobs you'll see uh, around. So pass mobs that so you'll see like balls, you'll see ducks, geese, and moles in the uh, plains biome. Oh, I've, and snakes, yes. Oh, and you. Oh, and you've also got uh, hamsters. I didn't see hamsters before when I was testing this out. Testing this out. Yeah, you also get hamsters. Uh, a snake here. A goose. So yeah, you, you get a, it just adds a few more uh, passive mobs for you to mess around with. On to the next one. Next up uh, is the two backpack handles. Now, there are two uh, backpack handles. I did a review comparing the two. And basically either one works here, uh, but you will be more limited in the second ones. Uh, well, in both of there. Um, Customizability, but my personal favorite is uh, this one uh, with the little bottles next to them because uh, it doesn't replace the armor slot. Uh, where with these, you need to craft the vanilla, you can only craft like armored backpacks, which is a vanilla armor plus a backpack, which again only works with vanilla armor. But if you have other add ons that have armor, then this doesn't replace the chest plate, so you can have a full set of armor. And yeah, basically just a bit of extra storage as a backpack, and some of them look a bit cute, like the Axolotl and the Creeper. But yeah, uh, on to the next add-on. Next up is the Storage Drawers add-on. Uh, so basically it adds these drawers. Uh, now, some of these you can craft like the draw controller, because that requires Pistons, which you try quite as cobblestone, and you can't get cobblestone uh, normally in a flat world. But you can still get a bunch of these, like the wool drawers, you can get the uh, wood drawers, you can get the cherry, you can't get crimson or sa uh, the crimson drawer, you can, or the uh, warped drawer, wherever that is. Uh, but you can get like the copper drawer, you can get, you can't get tough drawer. Or stone, or the prismarine, but you can get all the different walls. You can, I think, uh, you can get never bricks. Get all the different woods, or uh, I think you might be able to get the uh, the like diorite, granite, and andesite from the wandering trader. I think maybe. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, you can cr you craft one of these. It's basically uh, as we saw. If you craft in one hour wood. And it says resource in, no, you can't get a bam bamboo one. Uh, if you're crafting one out of wood, it's basically uh, as resource intensive as two chests. Um, but uh, it, ha you know, it has more storage than a single chest, but not as much as a double chest. But it only holds one item. And I, I, I like them more than chests, basically. I think that they're, they're just better than chests. And also you can just have like, a big wall of them. Um, but yeah, on to the top two. At number two, we have Tinker's Construct. Now, you may be a bit confused about this, but let me tell you why. Firstly, uh, Tinker's Construct adds a uh, recipe to turn wool into string, so you can get uh, a string to make the bindings easily that way. But um, you can also make the tools and everything, and it is cheaper to make and repair a wooden axe than it is just to make a bunch of wooden axes. Um, you know, a Tinker's Construct axe and it is to just make a bunch of regular uh, wooden axes. Um, but, uh, oh, but you may be like, okay, but then uh, you can't like make any of the iron stuff, ah, because you can't get like grout or from like gravel, sand and clay. Because as you can see here, there's no gravel, no sand, no clay, but that's where you're wrong, because um, Tinker's Construct adds a Wandering Trader variant. Someone on Wander... So there's Wandering Trader, Wandering Tinkerer. So 
where he'll spawn with two doggos and that you can right click him and he'll like for animals you can buy heads off him and you can also buy grout, sand and the gravel and you're like okay but you can get lava in the super flat world to fuel the uh, furnace well you can, not only can you get the uh, beans off him to get the the slime islands you can get uh, lava buckets and blazing lava or blazing pyrophium whichever one you want to call it um now these don't really matter anymore you used to be able to just get these for emeralds but they've uh, they made it so you need nuggets as well so that you can't do them anymore but yeah this he gives you lava which this is really big for a flat world because there is no other way to get lava in a flat world right now other than by, by trading with the uh, Wandering Tinkerer. Um, now, it, you do have to do a low way to get this because you have to get emeralds, which you can only get by getting villagers. So you need to make a mob farm, get a, a zombie villager. Well, you you need to like, uh, well, first you need to like make a mob farm. You need to uh, convert a bunch of zombies into drowns, get three... Um, Get three uh, copper ingers to make a lightning rod. Breed up a bunch of pigs. Wait for it to rain. Then uh, hope the lightning strikes the pigs. Pigs. And uh, then you need uh, to kill those uh, zombie pig men uh, to get the gold uh, nuggets off them. To make gold ingers. To make two gold. At least like one. Well, at least one golden apple. To then cure a zombie villager by getting a uh, witch to throw a uh, splash potion of weakness on it. Um, and then, you know, you cure it and then you can get some emeralds. And then you can get the lava. Which, yeah, that's a lot of work to get lava. But, yeah, it's still possible. And, uh, the, yeah, that's why it's definitely at least, per my per personally, my number two uh, add-on for a flat survival world. Uh, but now, let's move on to the number one uh, add-on for a year, Flat Survival World. And my number one add-on for Survival Flat is the Essentials add-on. Now, the reason why this is, it just adds so much weight. You can just ignore all breakers, you're not going to be mining yours. But Tree, cap tree Capitate, or Tree Break, or whatever you want to call it, is super useful and it also re also if you have a uh, sapling in your inventory to replant that sapling you've got crop replanting you've got death waypoints you've got um, chunk borders that you can use uh, that uh, if you're in a slime chunk uh, let's see here let's see if we can find a slime chunk how have I not found a slime chunk yet? Yeah, it seems like there's a million billion slimes all the time. You'd think they'd be a slime chunk. It wouldn't be too difficult to find one, but apparently... Here we go. Oh, right there. So, if you... This isn't uh, permanent. In the next update, this is going to be changed. Uh, but it tell, it's gone green, so that means this is a slime chunk. So, what you can do is you can just, like, dig out this chunk, and then no more slimes will spawn on there, because slimes can't spawn on bedrock. Um, or you could pass it up because I can't spawn on paths, or put leaves there because I can't spawn on leaves. Do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, you got uh, tree replanting that I told you about. There's break spawners which you're not going to be using. There's uh, breaker, uh, breaker path. There's a uh, sand breaker which uh, breaks sand, gravel, clay, dirt, mud, soil sand, and soil soil. But you're only going to be really using the dirt, so. Uh, if I get a, a shove, a shovel real quick, I'm going to game mode zero. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what I can do. Uh, oh, there's also like tool replacer. Oh, I didn't. I don't want to go into there yet. Uh, there's lava reflow, so you can make an infinite lava source if you get lava from the uh, wandering toolsmith. There's uh, automatically updated mouse, which isn't super good for survival flat, but yeah, there's sand breaker. 
update, submit. There we go. Then you can just like dig out big areas quite easily. Obviously you're not going to have a diamond shovel, you're probably going to have like a wooden one. Or maybe an iron one if you've got like lucky with like a zombie or something. There's also more stuff, so there's like uh, there's checkpoints that you can't craft I don't think because that requires uh, stuff. You can get you got sideways slabs, you got portable so if you get four crafting tables and put them in your you can put it, you can make a portable crafting table. Uh, you can do that with furnaces and end chests as well. You've got uh, you know, death waypoints, you can't craft a green as well. No, chunk borders and cinemator, can't craft that, I don't think, because it's I can't remember if it's if you can off the top of my head. Uh you've got the elevator, which is possible. Uh play a teleporter break spawners. Oh yes, yeah, so you got double door opening, which you just do by punching the door. Yeah, sound break, or automatically update your mouse. What, yeah, you can make, uh, what, uh, one of flesh can be processed in a smoker to be turned into a, uh, perfect substitute for leather. Uh, and you can get, uh, uh oh no, you can get smokers because you need, well, not without lava. Uh, but that's not, so that's more of a later, later game thing. You've got, you, well, you're not really going to be using the airblood when you can't make capture cubes. I think it helps just, it helps so much in the early game with, um, with the, uh, tree captator getting up to get you a bunch of uh, materials that, um, that it is uh, probably the best add on for a flat world because it just, you know, like I said, you get with the tree captator, you get a bunch of wood and it uh, just makes it so much, you know, makes it so much better. Well, that's not better. Yeah, well, yeah, but you know what I mean. You get a bunch more wood, and it, and it makes the early game not as grindy. But you're still going to have to wait for the trees to grow, but you're not going to uh, be spending so much time actually chopping the trees down and, you know, digging out a uh, moat around your base if you want a moat or um, whatever. You, whatever. So, so I think this is probably the best add-on because it just improves the early game. So much while um, Tinker's Construct does like, give you lava, which just does give you access to so much more. So, I do think these two are definitely the best uh, two. And so, yeah, Tinker's Construct is better than late game, but uh, Essentials is, well, really good early game. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys uh, all did enjoy this video. I hope this, guy, this video has helped you guys out. Hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye bye